you don't have to be a marine scientist or you don't have to have years of experience. The thing which is the most important is your drive and your passion and you can make the change. I was 27, uh, living in the Netherlands, having a pretty good life, uh, always loved traveling. I took a sabbatical of three months and my plan was to go first of all to Indonesia, then I wanted to visit Sri Lanka and then I wanted to see Nepal. So I went to Gilear and as soon as I stepped foot on this island, I immediately felt like coming home. And uh, I basically never left. A friend of us was a marine biologist and just sitting in a bar, joking around, talking. We said, what about we put together an experience where people who want to make a difference on their holiday or who want to learn more about marine science, they can learn from our friend. So me and my husband, we have a boutique hotel and together with my husband and a friend, we started Gilly Shark Conservation and with the profit that we make with our hotel, we fund all the research. Till COVID happened and then we had a problem. <laughs> because Indonesia shut its borders, tourists were not coming anymore. I had to let go of the whole research team. Uh, we never closed our hotel, but obviously there was no one coming to stay with us anymore. And during that time, I gave birth to my second daughter. And just five days after, I got an email from a friend of mine saying that the United Nations were giving grants for core restoration projects like ours. And I looked at the application and I was thinking, I'm never gonna make it. Like it's, I don't have a research team anymore. I haven't been in the water for almost one year because I've been pregnant. But during the long, lonely nights of breastfeeding, I had a lot of time to think. And one day I woke up my husband and I said, I know, I know how we can make a chance to get this money. We're gonna set up the first completely female core restoration team in the world. We're gonna do it with local girls. It's never been done before in Indonesia and I think it will be great. Although a lot of people told me Coral Catch wouldn't be working because the girls were not able to carry the tanks or they were not allowed to be away from their families or was it even possible to dive with the hijab was another question. But then again, I decided to ignore all these questions. Whenever you think something sounds really, really crazy, most of the time you have something really good in your hands. Long story short, I never got the grant from the United Nations, but I did find some money to do a small pilot with four girls, and we taught them how to set up and monitor their own coral restoration project. And Today we've been training 20 girls, uh, we now call them Coral Cat Superwoman. It's the first time in their life that they are living and working together with other girls who are having the same dreams. And most of them, they're going off the beaten path. They're going away, which is quite unusual in Indonesia, which is following their dreams and following their passion and not straight away are getting married and having children. We're showing them that you can have a career and that you can have a family. It doesn't have to exclude each other. I was so honored when I heard that I was awarded with the Seiko Sea Hero of the Year Award. The prize money of Seiko will not only change a girl's life, it will also change the community around her. Our Coral Catch Superwoman are paying it forward by teaching the next generation in the local school about the importance of conservation. And furthermore, they're teaching weekly swimming classes to the local women on the island. The watch is also representing and will be a reminder of the time that we have left. We need to take action now and use our time wisely. Please share the stories of our Coral Catch Superwoman because sharing stories and telling the story can be super powerful. You can inspire others, you can create awareness, and you can help us building a community of people that really want to make a difference.